Hi, I'm Patricia and this is my first video blog. I am so excited to be doing this. So I'm going to start teaching you uh, what I did to get this look. I'm really happy with Cosmic Tree Essentials. They are a great company, cruelty free. I think you should definitely give it a try. I am super impressed. And uh, let's begin and I uh, will be showing you how to achieve this daytime business look. Okay, we can start. This is me with my clean face. I just have a little bit of moisturizer and I am going to start with the Oread Mineral Foundation. The color is Buff Beige. It's a good color for me. And I love how this foundation really builds up slowly so you can have more coverage or less coverage as you wish. And I am using a brush from Cosmic Tree Essentials and it is a vegan brush and it's cruelty free and I have a couple brushes that uh, they sent me and they are really great but I'll talk about it uh, as I am doing the rest of my makeup. So I think I'm good for my basic foundation. Uh, I am going to use another foundation and this one is a Nyad Aqueous. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but it's a it's liquid and it comes in this bottle. But I like to put it under my eyes to use it as a uh, concealer. And I usually do a little bit of a highlight. I'm using my blender to blend it up. I don't want to put too much, I don't want to be too heavy. So you don't notice all these wrinkles that I have earned. And uh, I think we are good to go as far as my foundation. It's nice. So I have a blush and the color is, this is the Crucible Pressed Blush and it's called Terracotta Rose. It's really beautiful. I love how they have this pretty design. You almost don't even want to use it because it's just too pretty. There it is. Good. And now we can go into our eyeshadows. This is a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not too shiny. Which is nice. It's not flat, but it's not too much. In it. It's very pretty. It's a little brick tone to it. And it's called foliage. I like these colors for my skin tone. So I'm using a double ended brush from Cosmic Tree Essentials. Um, this one looks like it'd be really good for doing a cut crease but I also like to go under my lid a little bit because these colors really help to pop your eye and I do that before I do the eyeliner. I like that. Next I'm going to use a darker color and it's called Copper Beach. This is a, another brush from Cosmic Tree. It's a wet or dry brush. Um, I'm gonna use it dry for now, just to go to the corners here. Give me a little bit of a dark shadow. I'm going to wet this little part here and use the same eyeshadow as an eyeliner because these you can use wet or dry. Just going in the corner and it's still a copper beach. Beach. I'm just going over my head very lightly. I'm 
also a little bit under the eye. This is a very beautiful color. It's like a brown. Um, sometimes I don't like to use a black color just so I don't, so it's not too harsh. So this is good for daytime, it's good for going to work. And it gives you a little more eye definition but not, it's not too dramatic. Buff it out with the other side of the brush. These are very handy because I don't like sharp, sharp lines. This is the mascara. It's really good for people who are uh, allergic or sensitive to any of the uh, traditional mascaras because of all those fumes, all those chemicals. So, Cosmic Tree is very natural. All the ingredients are listed, you can read everything, and it's all cruelty free. But especially, the most important thing is it, it's not going to irritate your eyes. So, in the roots and pull it out. And this color is great. It's black and it's very pigmented. So I'm going to use the same brush that I used wet and I'm going with a different color. Uh, this is a Blackberry Cordial and I'm going to wet it as well. I'm going to use it on my eyebrows because my eyebrows are really dark. This is a little bit darker than what I used before which is the Copper Beach. wet to define that new a little bit. I really like the shape of my eyebrows and I stay on top of them so they don't go too crazy so I don't have to fill them in too much. This is a great brush because it's it's very small and it gives you a lot of control. It's just a couple of spots where Mixed strokes like as if I'm drawing in little hairs. There we go. A little bit more here. Good, now we're going to move into a lipstick. There are so many beautiful colors. It was really hard to choose which ones I wanted to work with. Maybe I'll go with the, uh, with the chocolate rose. Let's try that. So this is a great uh, container because you it looks like a normal container. But when you're done with the lipstick, you can pull it out. And then you have a little more at the bottom your brush with your lip brush so I also got this great lip brush and it's a retractable lip brush you just pull it up and there it is so pretty see how that goes in Not that really. so I'm gonna use the little bottom part because I thought this was fantastic great idea oh this is so pretty a nice color it goes really well with the eyeshadow that I used so it's fall so all these nice fall colors 
really pretty right now. And because I have dark skin tone, it really works well for me. That is so nice. It's so pigmented, you don't even need a lip liner. Let's go over on the line. A little more color there. So this is my complete look. It's very casual. It's a daytime look for fall and for aging or maturing skin, you should say. And um, I hope you liked it. So subscribe below and leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think. I am really, really happy with this, this line. So thank you. Bye.